now observe this case in this the solid is um, resting on its base on the hp and it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to hp and inclined to vp when the section plane is perpendicular to hp you have to represent the section plane with its horizontal trace now observe how i am sending the section plane okay this is the position of the solid it is a pentagonal pyramid a b c these corners are visible and d e are invisible this d e i am representing with dashed lines this is the apex now i will cut the solid with a section plane which is perpendicular to h plane inclined vp you have to send this section plane such that it is perpendicular to h in the perpendicular direction only you have to send the section plane this portion i have removed which is in between the observed and section plane this is the section obtained now in the front view i am not getting the true shape of this because section plane is inclined to vp if the section plane is parallel to vp you will get the true shape in the front view but here section plane is inclined to vp to get the true shape you have to see the section in the perpendicular direction of the section that means you have to take the auxiliary plane to get the true shape of the section now observe here now i am getting the true shape of the section when i am seeing perpendicular to this section that means while drawing you have to consider an auxiliary plane to get the true shape of this in this problem a pentagonal pyramid is resting on its base on the hp when a pyramid is resting on its base on the hp then we can understand that its axis is perpendicular to hp according to our standard procedure when the axis is perpendicular to hp you will get the true shape and size of the base in the top view so you have to start the problem from the top view and from the top view you have to project the front view then projections of the solid part is completed the next step will be representation of the section plane first complete the projections of the solid part to complete this you take a xy line somewhere here somewhere here i am drawing the xy line this is xy then i'll draw the top view i'll draw the top view of the solid somewhere here this is the top view this is a b c d and this corner is e somewhere here i will get the apex so this is od oa ob oc and oe <coughs> now from the top view you project the front view by drawing the projector now i will draw a projector to the front view to get a dash somewhere here i will get a dash here i will get e dash somewhere here i will get d dash this point is c dash here i'll get b dash i'll extend this projector to 60 distance somewhere here i'll get o dash this is the axis distance axis height 60 this is the slant edge o dash b dash in the front view and this is the another slant edge o dash a dash o dash e dash is invisible i will represent that with a dash line o dash c dash is visible that will be like this o dash d dash is again invisible that i will represent with dash line this is the base now projections of the solid part is completed now the second step is representation of the section plane now section plane is represented something like this section plane is perpendicular to hp and it is inclined 45 degrees to vp and it is at a distance of 8 mm from the axis so here what you have to do is first to draw a 45 degree line somewhere here draw a 45 degree line align your mini drafter align your mini drafter to this then using this scale 
you take eight mm distance somewhere here now mini drop to that an angle of 45 degrees move the mini drop to this point using this scale you take eight mm distance something like this then draw the cutting plane or section plane like this and represent the section plane with its horizontal trace because it is perpendicular to hp now this is the section plane after drawing the section plane you you have to identify the cutting points so you move from left hand side to right hand side like this and give the names for visible cutting points now i am moving from here and i am moving like this left to right here this cutting plane is cutting the base edge ab that means this is the first intersection point here you call this as some one next it is cutting this slant edge ob that is two next it is cutting this slant edge oc this point is three next this section plane is cutting this base edge cd this is four now all are visible now i will move in the opposite direction invisible edges are not there while i am moving the opposite direction i have to identify the invisible edges cutting points with respect to invisible edges so, so here in this problem invisible edges are not there so i am not getting any points in the opposite direction now i will mark the point details here a b on a b edge i am getting 1 next point 2 is on o b point 3 is on o c point 4 is on c d now when i am transmitting to the <coughs> front i have to get all these points okay <coughs> now one point i will transfer to the front view by drawing a projector somewhere here i will get one dash two point when i am drawing the projector that projector is overlapping with this that projector is overlapping with this <coughs> slant edge so you transfer this to the adjacent point adjacent slant edge that is oa somewhere here i'll get that point from now this point is on oa so you draw a projector on to o dash a dash something like this here you will get the point which is on oa now we have to shift this point on to the correct generator correct slant edge that is o dash b dash or required slant edge that is o dash b dash now you got 2 dash okay now next point 3 3 is on oc so you draw a projector directly you are getting the intersection point on o dash and c dash this is 3 dash now observe third point you have to get on oc that means in the front view o dash and c dash fourth point is on cd cd is on the base so somewhere here you will get the fourth intersection point here you will get the fourth point this is o dash okay now you got the section in the front view but as the section plane is inclined to vp you are not getting the true shape but you are getting the apparent section of the apparent section in the front view now this is the section in the front view now this is the portion of the solid which we will retain this portion we will remove that portion i will represent with hatching 45 degree inclined lines with uniform gap like this this is the section <coughs> apparent section in the front view now what you have to do is you have to draw the true shape of the section in the top view in the top view this part i'll retain this part i'll remove okay now you take a auxiliary plane somewhere here somewhere here i'll take the auxiliary plane x1 by 1 i'll draw the projector from 1 i'll draw one projector from 2 i'll draw one projector from 3 i'll draw one projector from 4 i'll draw one projector 
okay <coughs> now i want to get point 1 on the with respect to x1 y1 so here you are drawing from the top view so you have to take the distances from the front view here i am going to get the true shape of the shape which is in the front view let's say you have to take distances from the front distance of the front view points with respect to x y that means distance of 1 dash from x y is 0 because that is lying on the x y so you just move to point 1 from there you move like this automatically here you will get point 1 now take the distance of 2 dash this is the distance of 2 dash in the front view you take this distance with compass you move to point 2 then you move like this from here mark the distance from where here you will get it that is 2 take the distance of 3 move to top view from there you travel like this then draw the arc that you will get somewhere here this is 3 fourth point is again on the x y line that means somewhere here only you will get 4 now join 1 2 3 and 4 these points you join like this this will represent the true shape of section again you apply hatching to this true shape that means draw 45 degree inclined lines with uniform gap like this <coughs>